In the world of politics, every election result carries significant weight, and the latest crop of election results has sent shockwaves through the political landscape. The papers are abuzz with the news of Labour's victory in the West Midlands mayoralty, winning by a mere 1,000 votes. For Rishi Sunak, this outcome dealt a double blow to his hopes of reviving Tory fortunes. The Sunday Telegraph described Saturday as a dire day for the Conservatives. But Rishi Sunak is not one to back down. He's ready to get back on the front foot. In the coming week, he plans to make a series of announcements aimed at getting people back to work, clamping down on anti-Semitic hate speech, and deporting migrants. And he's not alone in his optimism. Home Secretary James cleverly believes that those who have drifted away from the Conservatives will return in time for the general election. As the political landscape continues to shift, one thing remains certain, every vote counts and every election result shapes the future. The Sunday Express declares that the Conservative Party is in panic after Labour snatched the top mayor job in the West Midlands. The tabloid's stark headline reads, We're doomed! On the other side of the spectrum, Sir Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, shares his thoughts with the Observer. He believes that Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, must call a general election without delay, following what he calls disastrous local and mayoral election results. It's time for a change. The UK needs to be released from the purgatory of Mr. Sunak's zombie government. The recent election results have shown that people are yearning for a new direction, a fresh start. And indeed, the results of these elections have been a clear message from the people. They have turned out in numbers, eager to make their voices heard, to vote for change. The political landscape is shifting, and the parties are feeling the pressure. The Conservative Party, in panic, must now regroup and strategize. Labor, emboldened by their recent victories, is ready to push forward. As the dust settles and the headlines continue to swirl, one thing is certain, the winds of change are blowing. The future of the nation hangs in the balance, and the power lies in the hands of the people. According to The Observer, the Sunday Express has captured the sentiment within the Conservative Party with their headline, We're Doomed. The loss of the West Midlands mayor has only deepened the woes for the Tories, pushing them into a state of panic. Sir Keir Starmer emphasizes the need to free the country from what he calls Rishi Sunak's zombie government. He refers to the recent local election results for the Tories as disastrous. The Observer believes that these election results have sent shockwaves through the political landscape, leaving the Tories in a vulnerable position. Sir Keir Starmer's demand for a general election aims to capitalize on this moment of weakness and bring about a change in leadership. The Labour leader's call for a general election is a bold move, signaling his determination to challenge the current government's policies and bring about a new era for the country. As the political landscape continues to evolve, it is crucial for us, as citizens, to stay informed and engaged. The Observer will be closely following these developments, providing you with the latest updates and analysis. In a shocking turn of events, former Tory Mayor Mr. Street has become the most high-profile casualty of Sir Keir Starmer's march to number 10. The Sunday Times reports that Mr. Street's defeat is likely to inflame tensions within the Tory party, following a dismal set of local election results. But amidst the political turmoil, the front page also carries a heart-trenching tribute to Daniel Andrin, who tragically lost his life in a sword attack. However, it's not just politics and tragedy that dominate the headlines. The Sunday Times reveals a shocking investigation into the suspected murders of Afghan civilians by a rogue SAS unit. The investigation was actually prompted by the squadron's commanding officer, an unnamed soldier who reported to the police that war crimes had been committed by troops under his command. 
Emails from the ensuing inquiry have now come to light, suggesting that other senior officers were aware of the killings, but failed to report them. These revelations have sent shockwaves through the military and raised serious questions about accountability and justice. The Mail on Sunday has obtained exclusive access to the poll results, and we are thrilled to share them with you. Not only does the poll highlight the support for King Charles, but it also reveals a significant increase in support for the monarchy as a whole. In a recent landmark poll conducted on the anniversary of King Charles' coronation, it seems that the majority of Britons believe he is doing an exceptional job. This is fantastic news for the monarchy and a testament to the king's dedication and commitment to his role. The findings of this poll have sparked conversations across the country, with people expressing their admiration for King Charles' leadership and his unwavering commitment to his duties. The poll results have brought a wave of positivity and unity, reminding us of the strong bond between the monarchy and its people. It's a testament to the enduring legacy of the British monarchy and its ability to adapt to changing times. Andrew's downfall blares the headline on the front page of the Sunday Mirror. As the tabloid raises concerns about the Duke of York potentially facing eviction from his residence in Great Windsor Park due to alleged negligence towards the estate, the local election results have spoken loud and clear. According to the Sunday Mirror, the British public wants the Tories to pack their bags and make way for change. The paper emphasizes that it is high time for Labour to step up and deliver the transformation that the country desires. In a bold move, Labour has made a solemn promise to promptly outlaw swords, as reported by the Sunday People. This commitment comes in the wake of the tragic incident where young Daniel Andrian lost his life to a fatal stabbing with a sword in Haino, London, while on his way to school. The star on Sunday is making headlines with a spooky ghost story today. Apparently, pop icon Gary Newman was left terrified after witnessing a man in 1940s attire disappear through a wall in the London underground. Maybe this is a mystery for the recently re-elected mayor, Sadiq Khan, to investigate further. Stay tuned for more updates on the ever-evolving world of politics. Subscribe to our channel for more political insights and analysis. And that's a wrap, folks. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Ring the bell to stay updated with our latest uploads. Got any thoughts or questions? Drop me a comment below. We love hearing from you. Check out my other videos for more great content. And remember, stay curious, keep exploring, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and keep shining. Hold on a sec. I am not finished yet. Follow me on social media Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube obviously. Do it now. Come on, do it. Thank you for watching. And a huge shout out to our subscribers and Patreon supporters for making this possible. You're the real MVPs. Signing off, peace out.